Hello viewers, this is Wagada Ronald taking you through today's tutorial on how to calculate cost and time for interception in relative motion using vector approach. So previously in, in, we derived the formulas for collision to occur and we say that the relative displacement of A to B if there are two bodies A and B after a time T will be equal to zero. And we saw that the formula for relative displacement is given by initial relative displacement plus time time was the relative velocity. So if this is zero it means that relative displacement initially plus time time was relative velocity will be equal to zero. So we shall use that knowledge to to solve this problem using vector method. A tanker is sailing on a fixed course due west at 30 km per hour. At a time of 9 am, a destroyer wishing to refuel is 160 kilometers away on a bearing of 2 to 5 from the tanker. If the destroyer travels at 60 kilometers per hour, determine Roman 1 the direction in which the destroyer should travel in order to reach the tanker. And Roman 2 the time at which the destroyer reaches the tanker. So the first step is to make a sketch of the directions for this tanker they told us that the velocity is 30 km per hour and the direction is due west. So that is 30 km per hour due west, north, east, south, west. Then the destroyer wishing to refuel is 160 km away on a bearing of 2 to 5 from the tanker. So you have to locate those positions. So A denotes the one for the tanker and D for the destroyer. So this destroyer is on a bearing of 2 to 5 away from the tanker. So the remaining one will be 45. So 45, 45 here. This is the distance 160 km. So those are the initial positions of the destroyer and the tanker. Now the next is to convert them to vector form. Now the initial position of the destroyer relative to the tanker means that you stand at the position of the tanker and locate the position of the destroyer. So when I stand here, this position will be horizontally to be negative 160 cos 45. Then vertically it will be negative 160 sine 45. So this is that that is the vector form negative 160 cos 45 and negative 160 sine 45. So we know that sine 45 5 is root 2 over 2 so we shall get negative 8 root 2 and negative 8 root 2 kilometers so that's the relative displacement of the destroyer to the tanker now the velocity of the tanker which is this it is entirely horizontal so it will be negative 30 0 for the destroyer we don't know the direction but at least we know its magnitude that the magnitude is 60 so we shall say magnitude of vd is 60 kilometers per hour now we know the formula that of relative velocity of d to a is velocity of d minus velocity of a but we don't know the velocity of d so we shall first leave it there but we know the velocity of a so we shall substitute the 30 here then we know that for collision or interception to occur the relative displacement at the time t must be equal to zero and we know that this relative displacement is given by this formula initial relative displacement plus time taken time was the relative velocity so we shall substitute we know the relative displacement it was already got which is that so we put it here then also the relative velocity which is this we shall also put it there then we open brackets when you open brackets we shall come up with this and when we make vd when we make this one the subject vdt the subject we shall get that and we also but we know the magnitude of vd so the next step will be to put magnitudes on both sides when we put magnitudes on both sides we know that vd magnitude is 60 so this this will become t times 60 for this one it's a vector so it will be the whole of this squared plus the whole of this squared everything under a square root which is that step next step will be removing the square root by squaring both sides and we come up with that line then when we simplify we come up with a quadratic equation in terms of t we simplify further to get that when now when we solve this quadratic equation we shall get one t as 2.0688 another t as negative 4.5830 but since we begin from t equal to zero then this negative t will be ignored and we take the positive one which is 2.0688 hours so that is our time that's our time taken for collision to occur now from this step now when you substitute our t in this equation which was given here it is this one we shall come up with 
this so put t here put the t here also you will come up with velocity of d as 51.0731 and that is horizontal and vertical it will be 80 root 2 come to per hour so horizontally 51.0731 vertically it is 80 root 2 then from start to end will be our velocity of d we need the direction so this angle corresponds to this one if they are alternating so opposite is this adjacent is that so tan theta will be equal to 54 0.6873 over 80 root 2 and therefore we'll get our theta as 24.2957 therefore the bearing will be 024.2957 they also per roman 2 they wanted the time roman 2 they wanted the time at which the destroyer reaches the tanker now since you already found t as 2.0688 hours we shall convert it to hours and minutes so two, two hours and four minutes we add it on the time in starting time which was nine to get four minutes past 11 so the destroyer reaches the tanker at four minutes past 11 a.m that has been our lesson for today thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel roa e-learning platform i remain well Runa.